Supercar Bondi here in Dubai. Oh, we have something really special to show you. The new Land Rover Defender. All right, come check this out. This is one of the coolest features. You know I'm gonna show you all the quirkiest, coolest features on this channel, so make sure to subscribe. Right, check this out. At the moment, you have a normal rear view mirror, but there are lots of things in your way, like that rear tire and all of the back headrests. So what you can do is flick this forward, and then this is actually your camera view from a rear mounted camera on the back of the car. Let me show you. So it gets rid of all of that kind of mess when you're looking out the back of the window you've actually got the view from up here there is the camera right there and it gives you like this uninterrupted view of what is behind you which is super, super cool. this is really special you guys because this is one of the first defenders in the country and i've got my hands on it massive thank you to our color motors here and they're actually selling this car. So if you're interested in getting one of the first offenders in the UAE, go hit them up. There are three different versions of this car. The first one you can get is the Defender and the Defender comes with two doors, right? Then you can get this, the first edition, that comes with four doors or you can get the Defender X model and that also comes with four doors. So this one here is the first edition and you can only get the first edition in the first year of production. So after that, you will not be able to get your hands on this particular model. This one right here goes for $96,000. And I suppose it's at that price because number one, it is a first edition model. And number two, these guys are like completely sold out. This car is a hot commodity. People have been waiting for this car for years. The last Defender that went through the production line was back in 2016. And there have been fans of the Defender since the 1940s. That's when the first ever Defender hit the market. What do you guys think of the design? They are going for a box. <laughs> they got a square on the side and the car is basically elongated square. Honestly, I, a little bit of it's not to my exact taste. I much prefer the old classic look, like the much boxier look of the 2016 uh, Defender. But let me know what you think of this design. Around here at the front, this is quite cool because this is really all about practicality. The Defender is not your Range Rover Evoque. It's not your Volar. It's not meant to be your classy luxury SUV. This is really made from materials and the whole interior exterior is made for practicality. So for example, you've got things like this here on the bonnet and this is like a non-slip surface, you see? So I suppose what they're going for here is you could literally pop yourself up here, stand on the hood um, to like kind of fix your tent. You can get a tent on the top, you can get a ladder, whatever like practical things you want, then you can do that. And they've just gone, well, do you know what? This is not a Rolls Royce. Just stick yourself on the hood. Everything's gonna be fine. Now, let me show you the key. So this is the baby you'd get your hands on if you bought one of these. Square, oh look, it's a box again. <laughs> a box key, all right. So you've got a start stop button here. Okay, head around the back. This is what the brake lights look like. Everything's gonna light up at once. Very heavy. Yeah. Look, you've got all of these like practical design features. You wouldn't see things like this, like the screws here. They're very evident kind of design features, practical design features. You wouldn't see that on any other luxury Range Rover. That's not the feel they're going for here. They've got all of these very practical uh, materials, right? Oh, that actually feels very nice. All of this can easily be cleaned and also all of this has like a rubber element to it. If you were to put something here, like your key for example, and you're going over mountainous terrain, this wouldn't move. It wouldn't go slide all the way down there, slide this way. It literally just sticks to that rubber, which is great. One of the coolest things I think about this interior is all of the charging ports. Like I've never seen this many charging ports before. 
just now I got my eye on two USB charging ports right here and then you've got another car one here that you can attach you've got one here as well <laughs> that's four already straight away and what's cool about this central screen is you can put your hand all the way through here which means if you connect your phone to this charging port you can kind of hide your phone behind here so it's not out here kind of slipping around or anything it's just hidden nicely behind that screen which is really cool let's go to cameras first I've seen this in the Aorus, right? A full 360 degree view of the car, but it, it has to be shown because this is really, really accurate. Like, look at all of these details. Here you can see the car very clearly approach you and drive by. You're going to see a very accurate view of where you are in relation to everything else. Look at that. Isn't that mad? That is so cool. Look at all these different cameras you can tap on. I'm just going to tap on this one and it changes straight away you've got off-road and here look this is quite cool because you can see your two front tires here on either side this vision right here is what the bonnet is hiding in front of you so if you're about to approach a massive rock off-roading and you can't see when your tires are going to approach that rock and actually tackle that ground you can through here because you're not going to see it here your bonnet is actually hiding that view so i think that's really cool this little dial actually takes you through all of the modes so you've got grass gravel snow you've got mud all of these sand rock crawl and you do this just with this little dial and then if you press this button again it goes back to the temperature gauge so you've got one dial for two different functions also over here this is cool the digital display will change and looking at that now it doesn't look digital it looks like just a button with these little lines uh, printed on it but they're not they're digital, so I think that's really cool as well. When you're off-roading and you approach a creek or a body of water and you want to drive through it, most of the time you just have to estimate how deep that water is and whether or not your car might make it through. With this, it will actually measure for you how deep the water level is. And so it tells you the maximum here, but when you raise the car, obviously you can go through deeper water. It will actually warn you, right, okay, that's it. That's your limit. You can't keep going. If it gets any deeper, we're not good. You have to back up. So it's actually going to constantly measure the depth of the water as you go through. I'm going to raise the ride height of this car just with this button. Watch this. And you can actually feel how high that goes. Now it's actually gone up to point eight meters you can actually go up even higher there are lots of optional extras you can get of course this one has a fridge or like a cooling box this is quite cool as well speaking of charging ports this is actually a wireless charging port right here so you can stick your phone there and then this is Ta-da! Where you keep your drinks, more drinks. Look how wide this center console is. And that is for a very good reason. What you can do is actually put a third seat here in the front, like a jump seat. You've got this handle here, this handle here. You've got this as well. You can hang on here. You've also got one over here. And it's all really, really sturdy, you guys. It's like, it feels like it's not just gonna like come off like you can really grab this just go for it look look at all these little holes here so you can grab anywhere you want all right we've also got a sunroof which is cool there we go there we go oh don't you love that 45 degree air oh it's beautiful look at how this comes on here this is actually your blind spot so it's warning you that actually you're there um filming but it will warn you if you have a cyclist coming up on you and your door is about to open on them it will actually warn you that there is something in your blind spot so that's quite cool i've never seen that before oh wow it's so high now that's crazy <laughs> look at this let me grab the camera look you have giraffe windows that's what i've called them anyway so that when you're on safari you can actually see out the top so you've got your normal window here and then your giraffe window because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see their heads and then look more charges isn't that insane look at this two usb and then two um in-car chargers here and then <laughs> look at this little window here another usb port pull that window back 
you can actually attach a little um, like a little holder here for your screen. Say for example, if you wanna watch a movie on your iPhone, you just attach a holder and then it can be displayed here on the back. And then more charging ports. You can actually have a full on fridge connected to your car, which would be awesome for like your camping trips, etc., etc. What is also cool is you can lower the back of the car with this button and also this one here. You've got the tow hook, people. I've never had to say this on the Supercar Blondie channel, but this has a maximum towing capacity of 3,720 kilograms. Let's look at the front. You've got these very classic Defender round lights here. And then you've got these two little boxy lights here. I'll show you exactly how they work in just a second. first ever drive of the 2020 Defender, you can either get a petrol or a diesel version. If you choose petrol, you can go for either the turbocharged four cylinder with 300 horsepower, or you can get the turbocharged six cylinder version with 400 horsepower, which is what I'm working with right now. Let me just test how fast this actually is, whether I feel like it has enough power. I'll just slow down a bit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I mean, it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it does actually have a bit of pull. It's not like supercar fast, obviously, but that's not the purpose this car was built for. This is really, really to be able to tackle, you know, your everyday work drive or to go off-roading. Smash the thumbs up button for me, guys. It really helps out my channel. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being part of the Supercar Blondie family. And a massive thanks to Al Alcala Motors here in Dubai who is selling this beast. If you would like to get one of these incredible cars and just hit them up. That's it. Dun, 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 dun.